My name's Sarah Cormack. I'm a partner at Withers LLP, specialising in working with families and family businesses. We have worked with leading research agency Scorpio Partnership to conduct 16 detailed interviews with family business leaders and members of the younger generations of those families. Most striking were the lessons drawn from the difficult process of transition, both generational transitions and wealth transitions, such as the transition from being a business family through the sale of that business to establishing a family as a financial family. This is a common development, whether the sale is a voluntary one based on the family's active desire to change direction, or whether the sale is driven by economic or other external factors. We also saw that giving up a family business is a challenge for the family leaders themselves. One interviewee drew a striking analogy when he likened giving up his business to being a concert pianist. He said, you can't take away the piano and expect to be happy to listen to other people playing. Some US families, on the other hand, have reached a third transition. They are seeking to move away from a financial model and re-engage with business for the good of the family, but also with a wider social conscience and purpose in mind. These families are considering how their business activities might be used to enrich their local communities, with some of them going further still and formalising their philanthropic objectives through the creation of foundations and other structures. One of our interviewees we think captured perfectly the growing acceptance of the responsibility brought by wealth when he said, wealth matters because of what you can do with it.